What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Johnson 34 and today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies and also by the way hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background because in this gameplay I managed to go 67 kills and 7 deaths so yeah I've been doing good lately in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and hopefully I keep on doing good in the next weeks because um, I need some gameplay so you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplays? Let me know in the comment section and also leave a like in the video so you guys can let me know that you guys want to see some more so anyways our topic of today is about Black Ops 3 having a Zombies beta for the beta release date, whatever, whenever it is. I believe it's going to be the third week of August because, you know, three weeks before release, you know, three weeks. And also, by the way, I predicted the goddamn release date for beta, didn't I? Because I remember talking about the beta and I told you guys it was going to be released three weeks and uh, three months prior the release date of Black Ops 3. So I kind of predicted that. Yeah, you guys want to go back, might want to go back into my videos and see that prediction. So, Black Ops 3 Beta, how would this work with zombies? So, um, the way this is going to work is by adding a small section of their largest map, which is going to be their day one map. Like, for example, Black Ops 2, you guys remember Transit? On our day one, we had four different maps on release day. We had transit, we had farm, we had village, and we had the gasoline station. Well, actually, the gasoline station was added later. So, we only had three maps, like, right on release date. So, World at War had, like, around four or five maps on, on you know, unlocked right away. Black Ops 1, they had actually two maps on day one. They had five in the mansion. So, I'm predicting Black Ops 3 will also have two maps right there on release date. But... It's probably going to be the small section of the largest map they have. Because I know Black Ops 2 Transit was big as hell. But the thing is, it was separated by fog. So, if they can do the same thing on Black Ops 3 and give us a small section of the largest map they have. That will be a great idea for beta. Because not only that will increase your sales. It will increase the interest of your gamers. Because right now, I believe the percentage of people separated by the content of your game. Because I know it's about 10% of your story. And then it's around like 30 to 40 percent on multiplayer, and then the rest of it is like a zombie modes. Like a lot of your fans are zombie fans, you know. Like what the hell is going on here? They're supposed to be interested in multiplayer, but it's not getting like that anymore. So, so yeah, there's like something going on here with the with the way things are like weighing down. But seeing how your fan base on zombies is growing is good for you to like give us a zombie beta. So, giving us a small section of the map of the largest section of your, uh, the largest map that you have will actually be a great idea. So, um, but do not fail us like Transit though. Black Ops 2 Transit really sucked ass. I don't even know why people even like that map. I just liked it because there was lava all over the goddamn floor. You had to jump every three seconds, and then also the whole map was separated by fog. Like, come on. I remember before the trailers, people were talking about, like, how this is going to be, like, the largest map of all time. It ended up being separated by fog. It was just stupid. So, yeah, they might lie to us again if they were to say that. And hopefully they do give us, give us like, a small story this time. Like, at least give us, like, a story mode option. You know, this is what we actually all want. Story mode option on zombies. And also, maybe give us some missions here and there in the Black Ops 3 uh, zombie mode, maybe? Like, as you guys remember, Call of Duty Ghost... They had this alien mode, and then during that alien mode, you can actually do missions within it. So, if you can give us kind of the same thing, but, you know, with no ending. It's still going to be a survival horde mode, but, um, you know, give us missions inside the game, and that would be nice. That would actually give us more reasons to play in the game. But for zombies, though, do not do it for multiplayer, because I remember those briefcases they used to give us for Call of Duty Ghosts. Those things were useless. So... Just do it for zombies. Do not jump over to multiplayer. Leave it alone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, so I wanted to talk about, you know, how Black Ops 3, they should really add a zombies beta. What do you guys think? Should they or they should not? Because, well, this game's already going downhill, so it's good for them to really add a beta right away so people can catch interest right away and, you know, maybe buy the game. So, um, another thing that I want to say is my prediction on the beta being, um, you know, actually, I'll talk about it in a different video because I know... I have another whole idea of how the beta is going to work because nobody knows how long is it going to be 
And I have a prediction for it, so. So yeah, guys, I don't want to talk about, hopefully you guys understand what I ever I said right now. And, um, you know, Black Ops 3, should they really have a Zombies beta, they, or they shouldn't? So leave it in the comment section, leave a like on the video if you guys want to hear more topics. And hopefully the gameplay in the background really got a little bit, you know, got you excited to going back into Call of Duty. But I'm pretty sure you're not because Call of Duty Advanced Warfare kind of sucks. So, yeah. Nobody asked for jetpacks, goddammit. So that is it, guys. I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Call of Duty content. Now that's how it's done. RTB for debrief.